Okay, I have a few tomatoes left. Not very many, not enough to can. So I'm going to blanch them and freeze. but I'm not doing anything with them yet. They last a lot longer. All right. Take them over to my stove. There are a couple of bad spots, so I'll have to cut those bad spots out. But I will blanch them to get the skins off. Okay, now that I've got my sink and dishes cleaned up, while the water was boiling, I'm just gonna throw these tomatoes in here. And I typically use one of these so the boiling water does not splash up on me. Right. As you can see, the skins are starting to peel off. And my water was boiling pretty good, but when you put those cool tomatoes in the water, it does bring the temperature down. So I'll let it get back up to a boil and keep an eye on the skins. I don't want to cook them all the way through because I don't want them to lose a whole lot of the inner juices. Us tomatoes ready. I only have 5% battery on the camera, so I'm gonna have to hurry. All right. Look how easily these skins just peel right off. And I'll save the skins and feed them to my chickens. Or Tilly the pig. if I turned it the correct way. Very hot. Should wear gloves. Look, that bad spot just peeled right out. And I don't want to lose all the juice. Smell them to make sure that the it hasn't rotted into the tomato. And I would not probably use these tomatoes for canning because you've got to be super careful about getting bad tomatoes when you're preserving them by canning. It smells good. clean inside. Smells delicious. Well, I ran out of battery in my other camera, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel these. Alrighty, I got my battery charged a little, uh, so I'm gonna fill these freezer bags. 
with my tomatoes. And this is the easiest way I have found. Take a mason jar. And just fold that over like that. And then this thing, if you don't have one, this was my grandmother's. If you don't have one and you can, you need to get it. I'm gonna do this over the sink because it could make a mess. I also love my bowl that has the pour spouts. I'm gonna scoop some in there first. That's my spoon. See how nicely that goes in there. The weight of the tomatoes is opening up the bags. Now that there's some weight in there, the bag is not so hard to keep open. Alright, that should be enough for this bag. I'm going to zip it until there's just a little opening. Squeeze the air out until the juice starts to come out. it. And set it here to cool off and then I can stick it in the freezer. Voila! 